Hello and welcome to the France 24 interview. I'm Annette Young. As the world faces the biggest public health crisis seen in a century, all attention is now not only being turned on developing a vaccine to fight the coronavirus, but also finding the right medicine to effectively treat symptoms. Research is looking into whether the drugs chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine could be used effectively, the two already being approved for malaria, lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. It also follows encouraging early results here in France and China. Now, the French drug maker Sanofi says it's ready to offer the French government millions of doses of hydroxychloroquine. Joining me now is Olivia Beaujolais, the president of the French Federation of Healthcare Industry and who's also happens to be the president of Sanofi France, that pharmaceutical firm. Thank you so much for your time. France is in dire need of masks, not just for doctors and nurses, but also in many other sectors of activity production having already been increased and the government says it's currently at six million a week but medical unions are saying it takes 15 million masks a day to uh, to be needed so what do we need to do in order to fix this problem first of all I want to say that the healthcare industry is totally engaged and mobilized in this crisis uh, uh, the pharma industries the medical device industries the digital health industry are working hard to find solutions for patients. Regarding the mask situation, uh, we have to acknowledge that there is a big gap in France. Huh? You, you know, my, my wife is physician and she does not have any mask to work, which is a big problem. So we need we need to uh, to fix that. I know that the government is working hard to find a solution. Uh, you know, ordering masks uh, in the other countries, and uh, but also uh, I have to say that. Uh, some other uh, companies in France, uh, such as Textile, is working to find solution. I got a call this morning from one of my friends telling me that they are working to find solution to produce masks in France. We also sorely lack other protective equipment and swabs that uh, are used for tests. This despite assurances back in January that the government was well prepared. So how is it that we're at this point in time where clearly people are lacking resources? I, I think that the, the wave uh, was a little bit underestimated and, and now when I talk to the hospitals, they have to uh, to find solution to uh, to get the, the goods they need. Uh, actually, once again, I have to say that the pharma industry, the medical uh, industry, is working hard with them. Uh, I got a discussion uh, the last couple of days with hospitals to uh, to provide them with the, the the goods they need. There is a strong mobilization of uh, of our industry to to find solution. But you're right. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, first a question of speed, and uh, and the question of uh, finding the right ones uh, in the in the chains to uh, to to give this good they need. I'm just curious to know, though, that this virus first emerged as a major health threat in China, more, you know, more than two months ago. So why has industry not responded quicker here in France the way it did, for instance, in South Korea? I think uh, uh, we we uh, we are doing the job. I mean, uh, if you if you think about the pharma industry or the medical device industry, uh, my team in Sanofi is working every day uh, since you know for for weeks uh, to to ship drugs in the hospital every day. Today, my team sent uh, hydroxychloroquine to most of the hospitals that ordered. So um, um, it's. Uh, you know, saying that we were not well enough prepared in the healthcare system, that's probably true. Uh, saying that the pharma industry or the healthcare industry was not prepared, it's probably not so true. Uh, today we are working hard uh, and, and we are doing the job. There are no shortages. And regarding diagnostic uh, tests, the countries that are doing the best in terms of keeping the numbers down and certainly their death rates being lower, they do a lot of tests. Now, here in France, that's not the case. We do less. So even if we do speed up production of testing kits, how long would it take before we would be up to speed? I think here again, it was a question of organization uh, within the healthcare system. 
in in other countries you have m more people trained to, uh, to to do the tests for people even in the car uh, and uh, and get the sample and uh, and and be able to, to to practice and do the test um it's not the case in france uh, the, the strategy was different it was to uh, to welcome the patient at the hospital and then do the test at the hospital and and uh, have the right orientation of the people the future will will let us know if it was the right uh, the right thing to do probably in, in the coming weeks we have to think about uh, doing other tests uh, to to make sure that we can uh, let the people uh, go and work maybe with uh, more confidence because knowing that they are not contaminated we also hear concerns about the lack of respirators. How can we increase and again speed up production? Actually, uh, we are working hard uh, in, the, in the healthcare industry sector. We have a, a big player in France producing some respiratory um, machine. Uh, we have increased uh, the production by two, by three, uh, and probably in two months by four. Uh, the Minister of Health just did an, a big order of respiratory machines, so uh, we are increasing the rhythm of production. Um, but, you know, I have to say that it's not only the machine by itself. Uh, all the, the chain of subcontractors has to be uh, has to be uh, engaged and mobilized because a machine is not only a machine. You have filters, you have syringes next to the machine. Uh, all the all the lines, all the subcontractor have to be ready to uh, to answer uh, when there is a request to increase the as a production. Now so um, I think that we are on the right track to, uh, to get there. Now, we've seen in recent days the luxury uh, company LVMH has started manufacturing hand sanitizer gel instead of perfumes, the car company Ferrari wanting to help make respirators. Are there other industries who can convert very quickly to lend a helping hand? Yeah, it's, it's already the case. Uh, I can tell you, even before LVMH, uh, we had discussions with hospitals. Most of the hospitals called me, actually, as a president of the healthcare industry uh, sector and asked me uh, for help. And uh, uh, I can tell you that uh, some manufacturers have started to uh, switch their lines to produce some uh, hydroalcoholic, uh, you know, liquid. And, uh, and we have increased the production um, uh, to, to help the hospital. LVMH is a big player and, and uh, we have to thank them. What they did is amazing because uh, the production is, is huge. What they produce is huge. And a question for you, because this is hard not to ask you as the president of Sanofi France. Uh, promising tests have been carried out here in the country with your hydroxychloroquine uh, drug, also called Plaquenil. A larger study does need to be carried out. How long will that take? And if it works, what are your production uh, capacities? Uh, so actually, you're right. Uh, there is a there was a small study at this stage. We it's very preliminary. We have to acknowledge that, but uh, the results are pretty promising. So uh, um, we have uh, expanded the number of centers to uh, to uh, test the efficacy of plaquenil. Um, as we speak, uh, we are shipping in this hospital some boxes so uh, we can test immediately. We will start probably tomorrow to. Um, to, to, to give the drug to the patients. Probably uh, we will have results in the coming weeks. Uh, once we have the results, we will be uh, in a position to produce and, uh, and deliver a huge number of those. I hope as you and probably most of the people uh, listening to us that Plaquenil will be effective enough and we will treat and save some people. Olivia, given what you've just been telling me, and it's still very much early days yet, but what lessons will your industry learn from this pandemic? Uh, it's a pretty good question. I think that we, we have to think in the future about sovereignty, uh, at least in Europe, because we, uh, we consider that, you know, 
locate most of our production elsewhere uh, was a, a good solution uh, because we had a lot of pressure from the healthcare system to reduce the price. And, uh, and actually, um, uh, this crisis showed that it was probably not the right thing to do. Actually, in Sanofi, we did the opposite. We, we keep most of our production in Europe. Sometimes it was uh, tough for us because uh, we had to consider that the price were pretty limited for us and the production cost uh, high in, in Europe. In the future, we have to change the rules. When you produce in Europe, you have to be rewarded. Olivia Beaujolais, thank you so much for your time. And that's it for the France 24 interview. Do stay with us because there'll be more news and headlines coming up very shortly.